Hello, my name is Patrick. And my name is Merrick. We're going to do a daily shadow work reading for Monday, January 22nd. Yes. How was your weekend? Good. It Very was great. Good. Excellent. Okay. It's cold. A little cold. Uh, we're going to do a card of the day and two clarifying cards. Ooh, very okay. good. Um, <clears throat> first of all, the card of the day. It is restless. Restless. The restless muse. Mm. Um, so the muse archetype is about inspiration, uh, the things that inspire you and all of that. It represents our yearning for change, adventure, and new experiences. If this was pulled upright, it would signify an active mind and spirit, always seeking the next adventure or source of inspiration. Uh, when it's reversed like this, it means aimlessness. And it's a constant need for change or stimulation without direction, leading to potential burnout or feelings of emptiness. How do I cultivate inner peace? How do you cultivate inner peace? That's the, that's the shadow question. So if you're feeling any burnout, uh, if you're feeling sort of or aimless, I, I mean, there are areas in my life that I'm, I'm burnt out. Yeah. I mean, I'll admit that. Oh yeah. I'll admit that. Uh, when you work in recovery, it's like trying to sell food to people who say they're hungry, but they don't want to eat. <laughs> Let's get some clarifying cards. All right. All righty. <laughs> okay. So this is aimlessness. And then we have insecure and apathy. Both of these are vagabonds. Yeah. Uh, so let's take a, a quick look at the description of insecure. I like how it was 29 and 30. I don't know how that happened. This is this is the deck we've been using this whole time. It's very well shuffled, very well seasoned deck. Um, this access to incur this to an encourages us to examine our capacity for indifference and lack of interest or concern because it was uh it's reversed it means indifference a deep-seated lack of interest or concern about oneself or others potentially leading to neglect or missed opportunities so that kind of goes hand in hand with aimlessness right that indifference right um this other vagabond card is insecure so if it's reversed in this per in this particular reading, it would mean paralysis, allowing insecurities to impede progress, decision making, or personal growth. Uh, so this, to me, looks like depression. <laughs> it, looks, it does. It looks like depression. It does. It does. Uh, so what would this mean as as the draw of the day, as the cards of the as day? For the for the daily reading, it means that we all have our capacity for aimlessness and apathy and insecurity. Um, so insecurity can cause us to be paralyzed. Yeah. And apathy can be why bother? Yeah. And and this right here is we know things need to change, but we don't exactly know how to change. We don't know them. what direction to take it in. Yeah. So what do we do with this nest of feelings here? What would we do? This is we... this is a pretty good one. This is like this, I, I felt like, like this. Yeah. This, this, all, I, <clears throat> I feel like all these go together, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Into one emotion. Yeah. Let's, let's take this as... This is kind of a vibe right here. <laughs> it is. If you feel this, or if you have felt this in the past, how have you gotten over it? How have you gotten through it? What is something that we could do? Well... Or I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be a bold... I'm going to state this. Okay. Okay. Go for it. Um, it's okay to feel this way. Yeah. Don't try to run away from feeling this way. Yeah. Because if depression, depression, if there is such a thing, uh, there's a, there's a book that I was reading care of the soul. Have you heard of that? Yeah. It's kind of out of print right now, but it's really good. But if you're feeling any of these things, it's good to just, feel them you don't try to escape these feelings there's a reason you feel this way well there is a reason you feel this way and i was going to say it might be calling you so what are the you know uprights of all these cards if because if you look at the upright of this mm -hmm. it's kind of a sense of exploration right a sense of movement so throughout the world since we drew all of these reverse let's get a clarifier okay Forgiving. So the forgiving goddess card, number two in the whole thing 
is it is reverse. I here. like the art on that one a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's Very great. pretty, like a statue. Yeah, um, but it encourages us to let go of resentments, grudges, or guilt. It asks us to examine past hurts and offenses and consider how forgiveness might liberate us from emotional burdens. So the shadow part of this is it's reverse, is repression. There is a potential to bury feelings without truly forgiving or processing them, leading to suppressed resentment. Mm. Do you have any resentments? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. And I don't like them. I don't like like having resentment. No, I don't like them at all. Although some of these resentments are so deep seated and buried, it's really hard to realize that I have them at all. So we tend to project onto other people. And I'm not talking about necessarily about you guys, but also people in general. People in general tend to project onto other people. I'm against forgiving people. Mm. I don't think you should Why forgive people. Because how do I know? Mm. I'm not the moral authority. Mm. Yeah. I'm not the moral authority yeah. on whether what somebody did to me was good, bad, or wrong, or right. Yeah. So I tend to stay away from forgiving. Right. I mean, if I, if I absolutely need to forgive somebody, but then there's not a whole lot of people in my life right now asking for forgiveness. <laughs> but instead of forgiving someone, what if you just let go of the resentment? <clears throat> But I'm I'm against forgiving people because I'm not the moral authority. Right, no, but I'm saying you don't have to forgive someone, but you can mm-hmm. let go of the resentment you have. But what if I don't know I have a resentment? But that's why you do shadow work. <laughs> right, that's, that's exactly right. Uh, so this is about repression. There's a potential to bury feelings without truly forgiving or processing with them. Yeah. Have you ever heard the story that I told you about when I suggested that my mom go to therapy? Yeah, and she said, there's nothing wrong. There ain't nothing wrong with us. Yeah. She screamed at me. Yeah. Uh, so let's get a let's get one more little, let's get a direction card. Like, where could we go for direction? False intuition. That's a wraith card. Oh, it's getting a little crazy over here. It is. It's a good way to start off the week. So this is misdirected energy. Um, it's and actually I, false intuition. Oh, I'm sorry. False, false intuition. Sorry. 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 Okay, so this one right up, because I want to say it's misdirected energy. Uh, so it's reverse denial of intuition and outright rejection or disbelief in any inner feelings or hunches, leading one to be overly logical or dismiss- dismissive. Yeah. Dismissive. Uh, so don't, I think right here is something magical might be happening to you if you happen to identify with any of these cards is there somebody that you need to forgive are you feeling uninspired to even plumb those depths uh and who who the fuck are you even to be forgiving somebody if you don't know if what they did was truly wrong but there's something within you that's very restless and needs to trust your divine intuition the reverse of false intuition is denial of your intuition how do you discern truth from illusion do we know how to discern truth from illusion no the truth needs no defense oh yeah it's truth just is well what is it saying of course in miracles nothing real can be threatened threatened and nothing unreal exists exists. and there lies lies the peace the peace peace of of God. god yeah yeah that's that's uh that's a one for today that is a good one and we hope that some of this stuff was brought out into the light of day yes we do absolutely have a great day thank you bye bye